Okay lads, we are going into Act 1, you want to come sell me something, Chapter 1, I'll Act right 1, I don't know, what, I don't know what, how, how I would even call it. Oh, right, okay, so it's it's Chapter 1, Act 2 we're going into now, okay, so they're chapters and then Act, fair enough. So this is the, the second mission, people. oh, it was oh, not. this one, it All was the not order. goblins that drove the battle hammers from their halls, it was Durgar. They came from the Underdark, and had penetrated the lower halls, exposing the dwarves to attack. With the dwarven warriors off fighting Kessel, those dwarves who remained behind were no match for the invading Durgar. Before the Battlehammer halls could be secured, we would have to seal the Durgar breaching tunnels. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, the good thing is the upgrade we got last episode was... It says that I can do this on Hero. I'll try it. Oh, the experience is a lot more. Go on then. I'll try it on Hero. Yeah, so last episode, the, the what I chose to spend my upgrade point on was, I believe, for every healing item we find, we now get two instead of one. That's massively going to help us. Also need to find out how to earn the the points that give me new skills because I didn't get any at the end of the first episode. I believe I'm level two now. I only went up a level, but we've got a well, we've got a better grasp of the game now. I think we should be able to destroy things. I hope I haven't picked the difficulty. That's a bit too hard, but I guess we'll see. It's a bit of a weird one because difficulty seems to be tied to character power level, but that's not like a constant, is it? Like normally, if you pick medium difficulty. You can expect pretty much that standard, if not a little bit higher difficulty for the majority of the game. Whereas if this is constantly changing, like, what is the point of leveling up and getting better gear? Not sure. But anyways, we'll, we'll find out. Come on, baby. Goblins invade the valley and Durgar the halls. The dwarves won't be able to return to their home until all threats are dealt with. Oh... This is cool. Just follow it, don't we? I have that cube. Take the money. Oh fuck, I just got stabbed by something. Yeah, I probably could have collected that by just using the ranged, but then again, I couldn't have gotten this. Oh, this isn't an item. It was just the shimmer of light. Good, we can open this door. This is probably going to be one of them skill point things, where we fight those... What are they? Like, oh no, it's different here. Are these enemies? Oh, they are enemies. It's a good combo that's very damaging. Oh shit, I didn't see him. Jump, 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 jump! Fucking hell, the damage this guy's got! I think we've picked a bit of a difficulty spike. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's got... Mate, he's got fucking ground attack. Yeah, the difficulty's ridiculously hard. Why the hell did the game make me do this? Fuck this. The pause menu takes ages. To, um, to initiate. It's like not instant. Fuck that lad. That difficulty is a joke. We're just going to play on normal. I think maybe, I don't know what power levels even related to, but I think we're just going to play on like hero difficulty. Fucking joke. Try that again. Let's try that again.
Yeah, Adventurer, sorry. Adventurer is the selected difficulty level. Maybe it can go up in difficulty level once we actually get some good upgrades. But we've literally came from the good. first mission right. and we've got some really basic equipment. Like, it's it increased my damage by one. <laughs> the new swords I collected last episode increased my damage by one. And I haven't gotten any meaningful upgrades, so why would it recommend me hero difficulty? Very strange. I don't quite understand it. I don't understand what they were going for when they decided to do that. Me ah, okay, okay. Maybe it's because I'm playing solo. If you play as like a, a team, then maybe it makes sense. I'm glad I figured that out earlier on in the game because imagine if I got through this mission and realised how, how much harder it is. I couldn't finish it. Wrong way. Don't take them. I'm actually the worst. Oosh. Where the hell is he? That's more like it. That combo is so brutal. Okay, so I do block the damage. That's too fast, bro. Oh, he's gaining health. This guy's gaining health. Alright, so tr what we've learned is trolls regenerate health like trolls do in, in law. They are brutal. Quite hard. Also, by the sound, by the way the game plays, as in the loot aspect, is you get rewarded. Let me use this. You get rewarded for completing areas and then not resting and continuing on to get the loot bonus. Start the game you probably want to play on like a difficulty that you... It's a challenge but it's not too much of a challenge so you can actually get geared up. Who stands against me? Enemies of the Dale! Battle! More foes to fell. I'm trying to do that. Yeah, I still haven't mastered that the pimp slap ability where you press X straight after an attack. It I don't know if it's on a cooldown or what, but I just can't ever get it to, to, to activate. Oh, I've jumped down. I can't get it to activate like reliably is the word I'm looking for. The Duergar breached through four tunnels. Each one must be sealed. Seal the doors. Oh, this is cool. Looks like Dracula's lair. This one will take some effort. Oh, we've got mages. Oh, I'm poisoned. I'm stood in poison. That's not good. Light it up. This guy, this is the... Oh no, this is just a... He's just a bull guy. Where's the mage? Oh, maybe it was the bull guys. No, it's not. Who's... Who's placing magic down here? Is it an Eye of Sauron somewhere? 
Oh, it's him, man. It's not magic. It's it's arrows. Nice. What have we got here? Explosive barrel. Give me your crystals. Oh, look. Explosives kill poison. That's cool. Press the wrong button, eh? Money, money, money! Money! Light it up. Right, now we have... Which way does the game want me to go? Locate the shaft entrance. Let's go up this way. Imagine a shaft... Oh no, that's the way I've got to go. We're going this way. Yeah, it's telling me to go back, so let's go this way. Because I want the loot, baby. Another battle ahead. Oh, who are these guys? I love that combo. Oh, what's that? Whoa. This is fucking bullshit, this. They've got fucking massive fan area of effect. And there's multiples of them. What the hell? Ooh, epic leg guards. That's what I'm talking about. Can I have this? Which way? Definitely over there. Yeah. Do you know what I'm kind of thinking as well? I'm kind of thinking it's beneficial to. To go to the mission, you can toggle the campfires, because then you can increase your... In, like, instead of going to the secret areas first. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Who's firing that? <laughs> I see secrets. We should have found the shard by now. Has hidden itself well. We are <laughs> there. So you believe the rumors that it's intelligent? It must be. It speaks to us. We've heard you. I need a lever. Does that mean you're intelligent? Your rampage is about to end! Oh, look at this creature! Shit, 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 get up, get up, get up! Oh, we lit them up, they're not actually that tough. No, 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 no. This guy needs to die. What a parry. There we go, right? Want to increase loot rarity? Boom shakalaka. I've got a feeling that the, even though the levels are big, they kind of t 
take you to most of the area as long as you follow it. Not sure though. Yeah, the, the controls definitely need work. They're so unresponsive. It took me three attempts to climb that ladder by pressing X. It's got such a delay on it. Very nice. Two health portions, see. But we can only carry a maximum of three. If I can increase that capacity, which I think you can from the merchant had said, but I don't know what we need to do that. Carrying health portions is definitely going to benefit us. Now, wait there. There is a chest above us up there we need a lever for it maybe it's through here oh shit that was awesome that's an awesome sneaky sneaky trap Fuck it, I risked it and I got hit. There's the lever. <laughs> I ran through the spikes and didn't even get hit. <laughs> Is it for... Ah, that's a lift. I'm getting a frame drop every time that click downwards. That's hilarious. A new necklace. It's a good job we've got a necklace because we don't have one. But well, we've got the basic one that we start the game with, but. Here's Johnny. Okay, I think I'm getting into the combat, getting into the swing of combat now. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, that's better. You just have to keep your momentum up, dodge towards the enemies. Maybe I do need to start using the lock on a bit more, even though I don't normally in games. It seems like without it, you just end up flying past the characters. There's a secret here. Ah. Oh shit. I think it's a skill point, isn't it? Yep, attributes. I think I am going to spend my attributes in dexterity. Just because that's like... What my... Shit. Oh, well, it transported me to where I wanted to be anyway. It's what my character uses, isn't it? Drizzt door and always being dex. Now, it wants me to go that way, so what's this way? We'll go this way. 
to see if we can get another campfire to boost the the loot chance. I do know I've got my special ability which is handy. If we come across a boss or something. Oh shit. I tell you. Mm. miles away from it. We we'll can always go back. Wait, they have just realized when you're invisible, even though the enemies can still see you, every hit's a crit. Where is he? Got him. Oh, I didn't get him. He's been hiding. Don't hide. Face me, pal. Who stands against me? Get wrecked. There we go. Let's get the loot chance. Then we go back that poison area. Oh, I need a barrel. Oh, there it is. Up top. But right, hold on, before we make progress. Hmm. Oh, that's what the levers for, man. Drop the barrel. Locate the mushroom cave. Ah, oh, see? I knew it would take me back. The mushroom cave is clearly that green poisonous area. I bet you it is. Where is it? Yeah, because we came down there. Okay, well, I want to explore this area. This could possibly be optional. Oh, we're just going in a massive circle. Okay. It's a bit weird that you don't have a map. Do you have a map? You don't. We don't have a map. There's got to be something cheeky down here. Maybe. Actually wants me to go this way. Do you want me to go across there? No. So I do kind of think you, your best bet on these levels is to just follow the map marker because it seems to take you through all the places and the only thing you got to keep your eye out for is breakable walls I would kind of like it if it is that way because sometimes I find that in games that are quite action oriented like exploration takes away from the excitement yeah I thought it would be back here Oh, 
you do. up here first. Watch this. All of these should be crickets. Massive damage. Yeah, that guy couldn't have been. I couldn't show you in that guy. Your rampage is about to end. Where's this? Something? Some beast is growling. Oh, there he is. He's gonna get wrecked, watch this. Move, 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 move. Why the hell am I lying on the ground like a dick? Ooh, that guy was a beast. He was definitely harder than the others. I want more loot. It seemed to be poisoned. We'll wait until the poison um, disappears, then we'll heal. I do like how your little debilitation icons have got like a timer. They like run down so you know exactly how long the poison's gonna last. Right, come on then. I kind of feel there should be something up here, like a secret. Yeah, there is. <clears throat> and we got our health potion back. Nice. I keep thinking this is something to interact with because that's where the map marker goes, but it's not. There's a door up there. Treasure hides in the corners of these caverns. Whoever brought us here was a fool. We're the fools who followed us, right? Hot work! Oh, that's good. The, the jump and light attack. Knocks enemies down. Well, knocks small enemies down. That's pretty cool. Ah! You know what it is? Aside from the... I think the worst thing about this game at the moment for me is the... The, the, the slow... I know the combat looks fast. It feels slow. I can't, I can't really put it into words unless you get hands on with it. But it doesn't feel responsive. Other than that, I quite like the level design. Not so sure about the loot situation. Actually, do what it is. It, it's so weird now, and now I've just thought about this. I mentioned that it's weird that you don't, you're not allowed to equip the loot as you find it. I've just played Necromunda Hired Gun, love the game by the way, and that's exactly the same. You find loot during the level and then you equip it at the end of the level just like this. 
in ways I kind of like that system because you you know especially for well especially for this game that's a multiplayer game where you can play co-op is you don't want to be stood around while your friends are trying to sort through all his loot while you just want to progress the level so yeah actually that's a good design decision more foes to fell Big lad, stone grinder. Oh shit. I'm stunned. Fuck this guy. He's got massive AOE, which is a bit bullshit like. Fuck this guy, watch this. Whenever. I don't know where my guy's going, he's going on a fun fucking mission. Your rampage is about to end. Have I poisoned him? Oh, I've poisoned him? Poison's amazing for negating their, their um, natural health regen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was the act complete, was it? So, yeah, actually. You need to lock on this game. What I don't like is when you lock on it, it zooms everything in so you can't really see anything. But it made fighting him a lot easier because all of my attacks did hit where I wanted them to attack. You don't go flying off into the distance. Nice. Good, we never got down once. I thank you for your assistance. Well, thank you, kind sir. Hmm. Gonna take a while for us to level up though. Since experience is only mission based by the looks of things, you don't get experience for, by killing enemies. Which is a bit, it's, it, it's a bit of a waste. Cool. But let's equip those epic boots because we don't have any good boots. And then we'll get straight into the next mission, which is the end. Which will be Act 3 and the end of this chapter. So what I am going to do from now on, now that I know the, the how the levels work and the level design is, is planned, we're just going to follow the checkpoint and look for any walls we can break. Because it seems that the levels always take you everywhere. Right, give me my loot. Nice. They're good. But are they? Like, what? I wonder what Regis is thinking about right now. The problem I've got with this is, why is there no comparison? I can't see what my other ones do. Maximum hit points. Can't believe we just. Oh wait! Tell you what, we'll just. I guess if the Dale was in re Equip. It's much better to just do it from this menu than you can actually compare. This gives me 16 cold resistance. I'd rather have percentage of health, to be honest. Pants. Yeah. New necklace. Plus 5% ultimate charge bonus, thank you. No rings, a new helmet. Critical chance, 5%, that's good. I want that one. New scimitar. The one I have on already does 26 acid damage. 
it seems like status effects in this game are quite good, so I want to keep them. It's me. Get me back underground any day. What do you need? Yeah. Sell that. Yeah, I'll take your junk. Mine now. Yep, I'll take that. What a deal. What I also find weird is your equipped items don't automatically go to the first item slot. What a deal. What? Did you see that even though I sold that item it still said I had the cold resistance top on until I left the menu? Yeah, there's definitely a few things they need to work out. Yeah, I can sell that. It's nothing that can't be fixed though, this can also be this yeah, can be easily fixed in a patch. Right, upgrade material. Are there upgrade materials? Health portion? Three grand. How much have I got? I've got ten grand, I want to upgrade this. Seventy percent hit points. You know what, I'm not going to get that because... Seventy percent? Go on then. Commerce rocks. I would like more. How do I do more? Always a pleasure. Now finally... I've got three, I'm going to put it all in decks. Maybe, I don't know. Moves. Oh, that's right, we need money to unlock moves. Right, let's start unlocking some moves. Tap backwards and right trigger after most attacks. Follow up a sword strike with the release of a high damage and burst of necrotic damage. I think I'd use that more than this one. Tap forward and right bumper. Punch a close range monster with the hilt of the scimitar. 50% chip damage. Hmm. Has a 75% chance to inflict weakened. See, this is this is good. Right. Right bump while walking backward. Summon unblockable portal of darkness that swallows monsters and deals necrotic damage. Hmm. I'll have that. Backwards and right bumper. Backwards and right trigger. After two dashes or dark hands, unleash a wide range unblockable arc and strike in reverse grip motion. Deal stamina destruction. Let's have a look at that again. Go on, do it again. Hmm. Minimum level seven. I don't have enough money for that anyway. Slash rapidly. In a wide unblockable semicircle. Tap forward and right bump after most fierce attacks. Has a 60% chance to inflict cursed and heals 1% HP. Right trigger while sprinting or after an ether slash. See, that would be quite good. I would like that. Bleeding. Cursed. Inflict cursed. Grants a vampiric and frenzy to drizzit. Level 7. Conjure an unblockable sphere of darkness that slowly advances. See, I'm glad I went down this, this tree. I like this one. 25% chance to inflict frightened. Okay. Right bumper walking backwards. Right trigger and backwards after most attacks. I've got no feats. 
I'm gonna put my stuff in dexterity. That's just max dex. Right, come on then. Next, next mission. <laughs> Why does it always start up there? Or is it because that's where my mouse pointer technically is? There we go. Mission three. The Duergar we faced were but an advanced force of legions on approach along Bangor's span. The lone gateway to the Underdark. Dwarven sappers had collapsed bridges and tunnels all across their domain. But they had been unable to reach the span. It was up to us. Destroy Bangor's span, and that Dorgar army would be safely stranded in the Underdark. But we would first have to face the elite force of Dorgar holding the span's entry. Let's do it. Dorgar. We've got to, after an attack, press backwards and right trigger. I'm locked in place. There we go. Nice. And what was the other one again? Oh. What the fuck, mate? Why can you not access the fucking... I owe the dwarves a debt for taking me into their halls. I've got no idea why you can't access the moves list. But at least I get a chance to repay their kindness. During the fucking mission. At least I know how to do one of them. <laughs> I need to have a better memory. We were lucky the battle hammers were warm when we arrived. And unlucky forces of... <laughs> Leroy Jenkins, that bitch. Wow, that's so powerful. Look at this. Watch this. What the hell? It's the best move in the game. That's going to be amazing for bosses. It's so easy to pull off as well. It's actually reliable. Wow. Okay, so I can see the combat gets much better as long as you get abilities. Abilities in this game are actually beneficial. Right, I've got another explosive barrel. Servants of Levistus. If we could. It's got massive range, that. Ooh. Watch out. That, anyway, you've, got, you've got to parry these guys. They've got massive armor, like gay um, and boss armor. Watch this guy going running. Didn't manage to parry it, but it knocks you on the deck. Doesn't damage you as long as you block it, though. The Duergar army crosses Bangor's span before it's brought down. 
We may never get them out of the Battle Hammer Halls. The Battle Hammer Halls. I'll see if we need a lever for that. Oh, it's better it's in there. Yeah, baby. I think as well, if we haven't got full health before we open a chest, we should always use a health potion. Because chests normally give you at least one health potion. What should call me a liar here? Yeah, we got it, we got it. Nice. I don't know, this looked a bit fishy, but it's just the it's just the scenery. Oh, this is an awesome fortress. A dwarven forge. The calls us this strong. one's had training. That is awesome, the combination is brutal. <laughs> What are you doing? Can we do it after this? You can't do the black hole thing after a Whoa. after a um, aerial attack. I did try. What is that floating? I think that is health. What was that? Well, hit it then. <laughs> this guy is useless at hitting things. Tapestry. I've just realised, right, you know that black hole spell that I use? It's like lowering my stamina. Like my maximum stamina isn't ma stamina isn't maximum anymore. I don't think it'll matter for the amount of times that I use it. Aha, we need a barrel, right? Okay, I think we're gonna get the barrel like f later on, so we'll come back if we need to. Oh, it's a big lad. You force my hand. Oh, let's not get caught by that. That, that, the range on that is just, it's too good. I thought it just hit right in front of your face. It actually moves towards. I did read it in the description, but I just forgot about it until now. Something in there. Right, we need to get around there, the secrets. I see secrets. But also.
money. That's what it's for. Is that what it's for? Guy first. Right, let's try and lure these guys up. I want to see if it can hit multiple enemies. It doesn't. I think it does actually. What happened there? I got hit by darkness. Oh, there's a look. This magic guy's a prick. <laughs> Just send him off into the moon, mate. His people needed him there. My people await. I'm awesome at finding these bomb spots. Oh shit. Is that it? A tome? I don't even know what tomes do. I don't know what this shit does. These mages need to die first. There's a big guy here. Let's do a shore open. That's a good combo. Basic shore open into the 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 dark thing. Basic sure you can into darkness because it stuns them. So it's a perfect whoa, it's a perfect opportunity to do it. Loot rarity bonus is kicking right off, I think. I don't know if three is the max you can get. Secrets down here though. That's a secret. I keep thinking I can see things, but it's just the, the destruction. Ooh, I just ran that. Should have healed. Never mind. Is that all that was there? <laughs> I didn't get hit. <laughs> I am a nimble foot. <laughs> right, that's gotta be a secret up there, do you think? Yeah, oh no. What could that be used? We've gotta go up anyway. Oh, that's how you get around. I don't 
I'm, I'm beginning to think I don't think you can upgrade the capacity of your health flasks. Only the potency. I hope that's not timed. Boss time. This is going to be a proper boss now because it's the end of a chapter. Don't give a fuck, do they? They're coming. Then we hold. I like the cutscenes. Whoa, 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 who's fighting? Wars? Who's fighting? Oh, these are bosses. Right, that's it. Light it up. Got him. Mate, he got lit up like a Christmas tree with all my specials. He had this shot all along. Bruner's home was a ruin. And the destruction of Bangor's span, the bridge named for his father, its loss was a heavy burden. The dwarves had to abandon their family, chased from their homes by the goblin and verbeek remnants of Kessel's orders. These threats and worse had answered the call of Krent Shinnabon. Were the only thing that stood between these creatures, the shard, and the utter destruction of our home. Is that the end of the? It is at complete. Yeah, these guys weren't even that hard. They were just like harder, regular guys. The the regular. Golems and trolls are harder than them bosses. They were more like champions. We smashed that level there. Didn't get any good loot though. All the loot we got was shit. And my friends. Yes, level three, baby. One attribute and one feat. I want to keep spending it in decks. I think.
Oh no, we did. We got one epic. It's a cape. New cape. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully I don't know what it is. any cape we get is going to be better looking than the one we've got on. It's absolutely hideous. Looks like somebody's wrapped us up in a homeless person's cardboard sleeping sheet. That's got loads of piss on it. Have a look next time. When we load in, look what it looks like. <laughs> Doesn't it look a fucking mess? Okay, let's go and get our loot. Reveal all. Charisma. Plus two. Nah, it's not as good. We'll check all of this out at the the merchant. It's easier to see. What's going on in the under... I got all kinds of good stuff. It does look, thing is though, it does look better. It's just not a weird there. Till next time. It looks so much better, but it's just not as good. Armor penetration and three dexterity. It's too good. Then again, that's on that. And because I've got three pieces of whatever armor set. It does give me 10% stamina. Cost reduction. But what does wait there? What does charisma do? Increases the charge rate of a character's ultimate and increases their proximity radius. I don't know what that means. Even though this cape looks shit, I'm keeping it on. We'll sell that one, we'll sell that one. New hat. That is horrible. I think everything we've got, whatever we've got on is good. Ultimate charge bonus. Yeah. We never got anything good, we'll sell all that. My favorite drow. What a deal. Yeah, I can sell that. No take backs. Gee, thanks. Bargain. Yeah, I can sell that. One thing I have noticed, I don't know if it's possible. Can you, are you allowed to sell things you've got equipped? I don't think it does let you. That's a good, that is a good, um... Right, these are upgrade crystals, so... Oh. Like what? How do I even upgrade things? All oh, right, I see. That's how. That's how. You need seven purple crystals and a nineteen hundred quid upgrade. It's pointless and wasting your crystals upgrading any of this shit at the minute. We might as well good wait until we get good there. good stuff. So we'll save all them up, and um, we did get an upgrade point. We're going to put it in decks. What's my HP? That doesn't do HP. Constitution does HP. I would like to see my actual character sheet. Show me how much HP I get. Because imagine if it gives you 1 HP. It's going to be completely worthless. I'm putting it in decks. Usables. Aha! Oh no, that's inventory. This is other use we don't have any. Moves. This is what I'm interested in. I need to be level 7 for that. And then I can get that. Inflicts cursed and frightened on monsters. 
then Vampiric and Frenzy. They sound like like a buff you put on. Well, it looks like a buff you put on. Hmm. Level 7, level 7. So we're going to have to save up money because they we're going to need 4. That's 10 grand. We're going to need 16 grand. I've got nearly 10 now. So if we save our money up for them, we can get them when we reach level 7. Which is actually miles away. I'm on level 3. Um, why is this locked? Level 5. Gold drop bonus. I don't care. 10% reduction in merchant prices in the Kelvin's Cane. Can we even buy things off him? How do you buy things off him? All right, Drizzt. Take a look. Bro. Oh, maybe he... to upgrade equipment. You can't buy things Good off this guy. Only charges you to upgrade, right? Abilities. Cloud of daggers, do I have that? He's surrounded by a swarm of flying daggers. Ethereal plane. So those are abilities. Five percent physical damage bonus, I mean that's good. Another one there. I think that's better. Why can I not get that? Because I need that one first. Having a 10% physical damage bonus for 5 seconds after a dash is just phenomenal. You're pretty much going to have a 10% damage bonus all throughout the whole fight. That's good. Crit hit damage. Drain 5 stamina on a successful hit. Ah, could be good. Airborne attacks, I don't care. What was this one again? Elemental resistance. Hit points. 15% armor bonus for 2 seconds after an evade. That could be good. I think that's a bit crap. 10% armor bonus. Expertise. Increases HP when getting raised to 100%. I wish that made English. Does that sentence even make any English? What the fuck does that mean? Increases HP when getting raised to 100%. What? The 15% cooldown reduction is nice, but I'm not going through a full tree to get it. Yeah, this tree shit. Sorry, that's how you get your usable's capacity. You can only upgrade it by one. It's part of a skill tree. You need to be level 10 anyway. We're going to go on the hunter tree. We might as well get this 5% damage bonus and get us well on our way with this tree. Boom. Right, lads, I'm happy with that. Okay, then. We'll call an episode here. Next episode, we will be... Teleportation circles waiting, and I've got going into chapter two, I believe. Oh, we can choose. What's this? Right, we completed that. Ah, you can do any one you want. Preferred gear set drop: Warden of Meliki, the Warden Prince. How do I get along? Wearer of the Mask. So you can do these in any order you want. I'll probably just go... I'll probably just start there. We'll just work our way around. Right lads, I hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one for Chapter 2, baby.